YouTube world, it's your girl, Kasha Arroyo, aka That Girl with PCOS. So disclaimer, <laughs> I'm a real person, so I'm gonna act like myself. But I am new with this camera, so and I'm kind of blind, so I don't know if I'm completely focused or not. And I don't have too many people who can help me with this. So let's just jump right into it. Why don't we? So today I am going to review Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Now this is kind of like a get ready for me. Sorry, I keep looking. I don't know if I look cute or not. Ooh, I look drastic, honey. Honey. So as many of you heard, Fenty Beauty launched maybe like two weeks ago by Rihanna. And I am a little late with my review, but I also was a little broke because I just went through a hurricane. So, I am going to jump right into it. Um, if you guys don't know, I suffer from polycystic ovarian syndrome. It is just masses of different kind of clusters of things. Didn't make sense. But anyways, and that's what makes it PCOS. And one of those wonderful things is horrible, horrible acne, cystic acne, facial hair, as you can see. And, bam. I was reading up on the wonderful foundation of Fenty Beauty and it said that it has um, build up, it could build up to medium to full coverage. So me being, you know, this girl right here, I wanted to give it a try because <sighs> why not? I know that I have a face full of acne and redness and blemishes, but just because I have scars on my face, just because I have scarring or imperfections doesn't mean that I am, you know, secluded from trying all the great wonderful things that are launched. Um, of course right now I'm only using Becca Cosmetics because it's the only foundation that works for me and uh, Boy and Concealer, but I wanted to try something new. So if you suffer from any imperfections like all of us do, or any scarring, or basically just anything that can make you feel a little insecure or just not as beautiful as we are, um, don't feel ugly, don't feel insecure, don't feel anything because, you know, Nobody's perfect, and I know there's girls out there who have flawless skin, but whatever. <laughs> Still bad your dad though. A disclaimer with all of this good, good stuff. I am, however, using my own beauty sponge. It looks dirty, but I cleaned it yesterday, and it is watered down. Um, I am using my own beauty sponge just because, like I said, um, I want to make sure that I am in the same routine. But I am going to be using pretty much all of her face um, products. Um, just not her brush or her beauty blender, which I don't really think matters because honestly I use Becca cosmetics and I don't use any Becca anything to apply it to my face I don't really know too many people do that anything. So alright guys, so as you can see I've already done my eyebrows um, And I have already applied moisturizer to my face first things first I'll pop your face off oh, honey's honey's oh, my bad <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my face I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, and this is in a soft matte. I'm not sure if there was any other colors or whatever, but this is a soft matte. And um, yeah, I use a combination of different kind of primers. I'm still trying to find a primer that I like, so we'll see. First off, the packaging is so freaking adorable, people. So adorable. I don't know if you guys can see that because I don't know what I'm doing. So it's Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, and it's 32 milliliters, 1.08 fluid ounces, and that's a lot. Um, how much is the one I'm using now? The one I'm using now is 30, milli 30 milliliters. So this one's about 32 more than my actual primer that I'm using now, and my primer that I'm using now is discontinued anyway, so. Bye, Felicia. So let's get started. Pinkish, beigeish color. You want to make sure that your face is as protected as it could be. You know, it's bad enough for breaking out. Try to keep your face as protected as possible. All right. 
Okay, so as far as the texture, it was um, somewhat creamy going on. It didn't feel very sticky or anything. It feels very lightweight on my face. I don't really, I don't really feel it. So that's really good. So the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and jump into is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick Trio. The Matchstick Trio uh, combination that I bought is about $54 for three colors. This is Light 100, um, Linen, Amber, and Starstruck. I am highly obsessed with like really, 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 really white under my eyes and my contour because I'm really light in my face, so the lighter the better. Girl, yes! I'm in love with this packaging. I love this magnetic thing that we have going on. The pro about that is they're all together so you won't lose them. The con about that is if you do lose them, you lose them all! <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get started with the um, conceal because I need to conceal this acne on my face. So let's go ahead so there's not a lot of product but I'm gonna be honest here if we were to melt this down and put this in something like this it would probably be the same amount as this and this lasts me a really long time let's be clear honey and I was out honey so it looks like it's not a lot of product, but it could possibly be a lot of product I heard a lot of people saying oh my god it's the same as Kim Kardashian, first off, it takes a long time to make makeup. I highly doubt overnight they made the packaging look like Kim Kardashian's. Highly doubt that for one. And for two, Flower Beauty came out way before both of them and their product looks kind of the same. Anyways, let's get to it. You guys are probably like, why is she doing that? But honey, Honey, your face looks like me, honey. Probably not, honey. I conceal my face just like this. And I'm not really using a lot of product. I'm just lightly tapping it, and a lot is coming off, which is really good. It is very creamy, I could say that right now. And again, like I said, I'm barely touching my face, and a lot of product is coming out, which is a good thing. So now that I have that on, we're going to go ahead and get started with the foundation. Dun, dun, dun. It's the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I got a color 240 because it matched my neck. I was still feeling like I was a little darker than a 240, but they didn't even have any of the colors. Once it hit like somewhat caramel complexion to really dark, everything was sold out. I can't even get this open. I'm literally struggling. Okay, I broke it. Whatever. It'll do. Okay, so again, the packaging looks the same as the primer. And it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's really simple, simplistic, but beautiful, honestly. And that's the way to do it. Less is more. Shake well before use. This is 32 milliliters, just like the, um, primer which is really good um and my actual primer i mean my actual foundation that i use is so i use the ultimate cover foundation from becca and it's 1.1 1 .1, uh, fluid ounces and this one is 1 1.8 fluid ounces so i am getting a little bit more the becca lasts me a long time so if this goes as planned this will last me a while too so i'm really excited about that which is a little bit less pricey than mine again because mine is 44 45 dollars my actual foundation that i use so ten dollars cheaper and it's got more product i'm with it i'm with it rihanna again it says to build it up to full coverage and it is possible so that's exactly what i'm going to do Oh, 
the foundation is very, very liquidy. I'm not a big fan of the liquidy. I like something with a little bit more of a thick consistency. Okay, so far I have one layer of the foundation on. It does look okay, but I think because of the concealer it looks a little white. I am going to try to build it up to a full coverage because I could still see really dark blemishes on my face and redness. And with my other foundation, I cannot see that once I start applying my foundation on. I'm just going to go ahead and give it another try. I'm just showing you what it looks like on a full first go. Okay, so I applied a second layer of foundation to my face and I'm not really seeing a lot of full coverage here with this one. Um, I know that a lot of people are like, oh, it's, it works so well, X, Y, Z. Now, I'm somebody who suffers from blemishes, acne, um, dark spots. So when I'm told, hey, this will work, and I apply two layers, and I'm not really seeing the full coverage, it could be a little... Um, discouraging to say the least because I'm not really seeing it. I mean, it doesn't help that my face is freaking drying out. I'm gonna go ahead and give the um, Amber which is a contour stick, the match stick. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try now for just um, of course purposes. I'm getting really discouraged. I really want to not make this video So this is the real deal of uh, people who suffer from anything that's like on their face. I'm really fucking aggravated right now because my face is really dry because of what I'm using to repair my skin and my acne. And I just feel like the makeup isn't covering and it's just not blending right. And So yeah, this is my review on Fenty Beauty. I'm just going to stop now. Um... I really loved the lip gloss. It was probably my favorite thing because I used it the other day. Um, I really feel discouraged right now. As a YouTuber, as a real person, I, um, I don't know. I'm just really discouraged and I don't want to cry, but. Dealing with PCOS is extremely frustrating, not just because of my face, but all the things that happen in my body. So, you know, it gets frustrating on a day-to-day -day basis, and then it's like you just want to have clear skin, smooth skin, just like a lot of other people, and then you wake up every day and you're insecure, you don't... You don't want to meet new people. You don't want to, you know, mingle with guys. You don't want to go on dates because you're just insecure. You're constantly trying to hide your face. And you're always trying to find makeup that helps. And I was really excited for this. But I feel like an idiot right now. And I'm crying to YouTube. But, okay. I need to be as transparent if I'm going to be doing this whole, you know, self-love body ambassador thing. And I am. But... 
the truth is we all have our moments we all get discouraged and this is real life so i am probably gonna either take this stuff back to the store or just give it away um probably gonna keep the primer hopefully if it looks good or the the lip gloss but that is my review um it's not really full coverage for my face the conceal i don't know I don't know. I'm going to just stick to Becca. But thanks for watching, guys. Sorry for ruining this review, for crying. I am... I am out. Bye.